I think a lot of the countries here are a bit nervous. Uh, usually they have two weeks to negotiate anything and this time they've only got five or six days, depending if we stretch on to Sunday. People are also nervous because we're trying to negotiate a few things that we basically failed to negotiate uh, a few months ago when they went to Germany in Bonn. If you look before they went to Paris, the reason why they had to negotiate for 20 years and they couldn't get an agreement is because you could never get a country to do something it didn't want to do originally. When they went to Paris, they said all the countries can volunteer whatever they want to do. And they did. They volunteered what they thought was appropriate, what they thought they could do in their own country. There was a lot of international support to try and push them to do more. And a lot of countries did do more than they previously thought they could. But they were doing what they wanted to do in the way that they wanted to do it. Okay, now you've got voluntary agreements, but we need to try and figure out how we're going to use these every couple of years to keep going and keep improving climate action. That means that we might have to do things similarly to each other. So developed countries and developing countries need to do things in a way that maybe is not the way they want to do it, but is the way that if everyone does it together, it's easier to account for what's happening. Is on what they call the nationally determined contributions, which is basically what every government voluntarily agreed that they will do. In that, a few countries said that they will do things with women, a few countries said they will do things with indigenous peoples, a few countries said that they will do things with adaptation. There is a big opportunity here to make sure that all countries do things covering all of those areas.